So today we are going to do um, a method of subtraction and it is called the left to right method. Um, this is a good method to do if you are going to try to do mental math, um, but also it is just a good method of subtraction as well, but mental math is helpful too. So, um, we're going to do three examples and I'll walk through what the left to right method is on each one of them. I am doing the exact three same examples as the traditional right to left method and as the Singapore method. So you're able to see um, the same problems worked out, but just three different ways. So the first problem we are going to do is 360 minus 156. So the first thing we got to do is, like we did in um, some other methods, is um, write in standard notation. So 360 minus 156. Um, and now the difference um, from the left for the left to right method um, compared to the right to left. So the left to right method, we're going to start from over here from the hundreds place. With the right to left method, we started with the ones place. Um, so you're gonna write it in standard notation, but then you're also gonna do a lot of like side work to get you to the answer that you can write underneath. So the first thing that we're gonna do is you start from the far left of your problem and um, on the bottom number. So you're going to take your 360 and then subtract from the far left. Um, so 156 the far left is the hundredths place, so you're going to subtract 100 from 360, giving you 260. Now you're going to take your 260 and then come back over to over here and the next number in line, because you already got rid of the hundreds, you're going to go over to the tens place is 50. Um, so then you're going to subtract two or subtract 50 from 260. So 260 minus 50 equals 210. And then you're going to take 210 and then subtract your last number, which is your 6 from it, making it be 204. So 360 minus 156 equals 204. Um we're going to do a couple more Examples for you guys to catch along or get it and understand it. It's the left to right method is very much kind of like breaking it apart and doing it. Um, it just has a lot more steps than the traditional method, but it's not an issue if you need to break it down at all. So, example two is. 420 minus 158. So I'm just going to start off by writing this in standard notation. Okay, so like we did up here, we're going to break up the number basically. So we're going to start from the far left and break it up. So 158, we're going to start off by breaking it into 100. So we're going to do 420 minus 100. And that is going to be 320. And then we're going to take our 320 and subtract by the tens value, which is 50. So we're going to come back over here and subtract 0, which is 270. And then we're going to take 270 and then subtract by our ones value, which is 8 minus 8 which equals 262. So 420 minus 158 is 262. Now the last example that we are going to do is uh, 590 minus 398. So 590 minus 398 
already written in standard notation, and then we are going to subtract from left to right. So the first thing we're going to do opposite side is write 590 and then subtract your hundreds value, which is 300, making it 290 as the first answer. You're going to take 290 and subtract by the tens value, which is 90, which gives you 200. Then you're going to take 200 and you subtract the eight or the ones value, which is eight, giving you 192. So 590 minus 138 equals 192. So that is the left to right method. Um, it's helpful for mental math because you're able to subtract um, and split it up instead of trying to do the carrying and borrowing over in your head. Um, so that is the left to right method for subtraction.